Hey friends, welcome back to the Life of a Makeup Artist podcast. Today, I am so excited because guess what's back? The Power Of. Now, The Power Of is just a series that I like to do to just share some lessons that I have learned throughout my life and my career as a makeup artist. Now, today's Power Of is the power of minding your business. Now, hear me out. As a makeup artist of over a decade, I have learned that success is not about just talent or skill. It's about mindset. It's really about staying focused on your own journey, regardless of what is going on around you. So today, I want to share on why mindset is so crucial and how to cultivate it on your own journey. You see, in the age of social media, right? Like, we get up, you might do what you have to do, your morning routine. But for the most part, the first thing that we're doing is picking up our phone and scrolling. And I spoke about this very briefly in um, another episode that I had to force myself to stop doing that because sometimes you kind of fall into the trap of comparison and that can really eat away at your confidence because you're always thinking that your accomplishments are very small and your accomplishments are not good enough. And it's really dangerous actually to be comparing your day one or your day five to someone's day a thousand or day five thousand and uh, i find that when you start celebrating your small wins that's when the bigger ones start coming like i always say be grateful for whatever you have and whatever you whatever you have going on and that way you'll be blessed with even more so how do you break free from that cycle of comparison I like to take it in small parts. So whether it is mastering a new technique, you know, landing a new client because, you know, you were following up, you were sending your emails, you were on LinkedIn, like you have to really focus on your own goals because at the end of the day, like you might see someone celebrating something online, right? But you don't know that they have been working at that for the last five years, the last 10 years. You don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. So you really have to figure out, okay, what are my goals? What do I want? What's going to make me happy? Because sometimes, like, I was telling my friend this. But, you know, sometimes, like, one of my friends who's also a makeup artist, she'd be like, oh, this person, I saw this person doing this person's makeup or whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 we'll talk about it. It's so cute. Like, I love the makeup, whatever. And then sometimes she would, you know, we would talk about, like, how you might feel a sense of FOMO or maybe a bit of jealousy. And you're like, but wait, hold up. Do you even want to do that? Do you even want to do that? You know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> um, you see quotes online where people say, like, I don't want to come to the party, but I just want to be invited. And it's really just like you you might see things and get this feeling of like, I want that. But then do you really do you even really want that? So you have to really sit down and clarify what do you want, not just for your career, for your life. And I think that also kind of like helps you come out of that cycle of comparison because you are clear on what you want. So whatever everybody else is getting, even if it might be something that you want, it's going to come packaged differently just for you. Now, secondly, community is key regardless of your industry, whether it's your coworkers, you know, your fellow makeup artist friends, you know, your, you know, I don't know, you might be in school still. Those people and, you know, those like minded individuals who can understand what you're going through, like uh, my friend and I, we talk about this sometimes where, you know, we have friends that are not in the industry. So and also me and Carol was talking about this, but you might have friends that are not in the industry so they don't necessarily understand when you are so upset because you got you got a hold and then you got released and you got hold and you're released they're like wait what is you what are you even talking about but a fellow artist might understand what that means and if you don't know what that means it's like you know when a client reaches out and they have a potential job they'll hold your time and then sometimes they hold your time for a very long time and then at the last minute release you meaning that we don't need you anymore thank you very much for your time and then you're like damn like it might have been a job that you were excited about or that you were looking forward to or whatever the case is and I feel like all of us all artists have gone through that the cycle of hold and release where it's just like you can't get too caught up in or being attached to things until you're literally on set when you're on set you're like okay I could breathe okay now 
sometimes you just need people that can relate. You know, sometimes you might be in school, you might be, you know, you have a certain assignment and you just want to talk to someone that understands where you're coming from. So that's what I say. Community is everything. Now, you might not be able to talk to everyone, but I do think having one or two people to just commune with is so important, not just for like uh learning but your own well-being you know being able to just have a talk sometimes we just need that like friend to friend therapy so i am so grateful for my community um outside of beauty and inside of beauty but i do think that you know if you are if you feel like you don't have a community there are so many ways to cultivate that i think making new friends or you know trying to network with people sometimes feels so I don't know it just feels so scary sometimes and you be like you'll be in your head and think that people don't want to talk to you they might not like you and all these things and it's all made up in your head so if there's someone that you've probably like you know what i actually want to reach out to this person say hi i don't think you're going to click with everyone and that's totally fine like some people are just like okay hi bye and then sometimes you just never know like one of my really good friends she's actually a producer for a fashion brand and she sl slid in my DMs because she just wanted to connect with more people in the industry. And we kind of like, you know, we just chat here and there for like, honestly, like almost a year. And eventually we kind of like started to hang out and, you know, have more conversations, being intentional, which I think is so important, being intentional because, listen, we're adults, we're busy, like, you either have school, you have work, you have kids, you have all these things, so you really have to find the time and be intentional, and now we're such good friends, we have so many things in common that, I mean, things that we don't even talk to a lot of people about, and now we are vacation, um, vacation friends, too, we go to Italy, we went to all these different places, um, and you know that's just a testament of you just never know where a relationship might take you you know whether it's just like having a friend in real life or having someone that you can commune with you know with regard to your career and your you know your journey uh, well, for whatever you do and finally I really want you to just embrace wherever you are at embrace the journey I remember there was one time <laughs> I was walking on 34th street and I was passing in front um right by the H&M and I was looking over at the Ulta Beauty store they had just opened up and I just had a very small thought in my head and I was like wow I would love to work with Ulta Beauty just a small thought I would love to work with Ulta Beauty in my head I was just like you know I would love to and look at years later it's happening but in in between that time of me having that thought, there were so many things that happened, so many setbacks. And sometimes you really have to just look at setbacks and obstacles as just part of the journey and not that, you know, my career is not going the way I'm supposed to or this is not supposed to, you know, this is not for me. When you look at a lot of like, you know, famous artists or famous designers vera wang and all these people like they started very late it's it's okay if you need to step back or you need to like you know you want to try something new but whatever you're doing try not to look at things that are not happening for you as a sign that you're not supposed to be doing this like sometimes you're gonna have to grind at what you're doing for a long time before something happens you know i've been in new york for 11 years you know and some people see me and be like oh my god been doing so good and i'm like listen when i really think about the times where i literally had no days off like working at the airport taking two and a half hours to get to work and you know that like that's not necessarily like the biggest thing because a lot of people go through those things but like for me i'm just like okay girl like you're gonna keep going you're gonna get home at three and wake up and be on on set the next day assisting and doing what you have to do and soak up as much knowledge as you as you can you know like I could have looked back and been like, oh, my God, this is too hard. Like, I don't want to, you know, I haven't even slept. Like, or you could just keep going. Like, of course, take your rest and your breaks um, as you should. But try not to think of, you know, something that did not happen for you. Maybe you was maybe you got hold and released for a big job that you would, you know, thought that would change your career. Try not to think of those things as defining things in your in your journey, like of course things will happen and it'll be great and maybe you have a client and that changes your career but sometimes the setbacks are just an obstacle and you know you're just like listen I'm gonna get over it and you just keep going so 
I do hope that this episode kind of like gives you some motivation. Like minding your business is going to bring you happiness. I promise you. Because when you start comparing yourself to everybody, you just like you don't know what's going on in their lives. You know, like try to genuinely just be happy for other people. Not saying that you're not going to have human emotions where you're like, oh, I wish I could do that. But that doesn't mean that because they're doing it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you can't do it too. You understand? So, you know, don't forget to like and share the podcast. We are also on TikTok and, of course, Instagram and YouTube if you want to see the visual episodes. And if you have not signed up for our Backstage Crew and our secret episodes, yes, we have secret episodes. Don't forget to check it out in the show notes and also in our bio on all platforms. Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you guys in the next